And now, to demonstrate the speed and movement of the typical comet, I give you the remote-powered mini-comet. First off, this was based off the Season 2 special, the same name. And second, how do you make an RC comet? You're slipping, Neutron. Real comets have long, pretty tails, not little stumpy ones. Only when they're filtered through the spectral light of the sun, Vortex. Actually, comets get their tails from particles warming up and breaking off, leaving a vapor trail. So, both of you are actually wrong. Care to tell me how I get a giant hot ball of gaseous radioactivity into the classroom? Once again, Jimmy's wrong. Although the sun does emit radiation, it's UV radiation. Jimmy, though, makes it sound like it's gamma radiation. Also, couldn't you make a mini sun with that comet? Hello, children! Ah! Get it off me! Down, boy! Down! Uh, whose comet is this? <laughs> oh, that tickles! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not the face! Ah! The RC comet flies at the principal for no reason. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Mr. Neutron, you're lucky I'm in a good mood today. And do you know why I am? No, but I feel like you're going to tell us anyway. Because your mom packed your favorite lunch? Kara, Principal Willoughby's mom doesn't pack his lunch. He probably has his butler do it for him. Duh. Unless he's descended from Richie Rich, why would he have a butler? Did your butler rub your tummy when she put you on the school bus and tell you your lunch is made with love? Uh um, what? Oh, stop talking! No. You're yelling at children. I'm happy because the Lindbergh School Chorus has been asked to sing at the opening of the town's new stadium. Oh, how exciting! In the show, it was for the it was for the town's new library. The stadium thing is a better choice. For that, I'll take off one cent. Well, I have to get back to my lab and make preparations for my trip to Twonkus Three. Twonkus Three, the comet. You know the comet that I have just been describing to the class. Uh. Ah! Not a sin, but Sheen's reactions in this game are priceless. Uh, ah! What? Okay, Sheen, I gotta go. Good luck at the chorus rehearsal. Right, like I'll need it. Besides, no one has been rejected from the Lindbergh chorus in 50 years. Foreshadowing. Aha! According to my calculations, Twonkus 3 is finally coming into range. Looks a little unstable, but I can't wait to see what scientific samples I can bring back from up there. All I need to do now is find the parts I need to fix my rocket ship, and I can blast off. And why is your rocket broken? Hello, Jimmy. If you ever see the interact icon, move close to it and press the triangle button to see what happens. Do this now. Excellent, Jimmy. Other objects you can interact with are now in the control room. Try them out and meet me in the lab when you are finished. Why is Vox a floating ball of light? Home sweet home. Where would a genius be without his lab? Now I need to find those parts. I wonder if I can find them in the lower levels. For them, pick up the object in front of you now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That wasn't there before! You will need to jump on different things throughout the game. If you press the X button once, you will do a normal jump. Press it a second time when you are in the air, you will do a double jump. Jump now to reach the pickup. What Vox doesn't tell you is that if you rotate the right analog stick and then press the X button, you will do a spiral jump.
Yeah, that wasn't there either. This gizmo piece will come in handy. You have found enough items to create an invention, Jimmy. Press the R1 button to bring up the inventor face. The inventor face has four categories, gizmos, inventions, super inventions, and blueprints. Gizmos require two objects. Inventions need three objects. Super inventions require four objects. Press the up or down directional buttons to change category. Let's talk about these inventions. The gizmos have no use and have very little function. And even if they do, most of them are minor. The inventions are used in only one part of the game only. One or two only have more than one use in the game. The super inventions are for boss battles only, and each boss has a super invention to counter it. And the blueprints are just for show to change available objects. Then press the X button to see Think. if an invention Think. can be created. If the pieces match up to create a new invention, it will be added to your inventory. You can see your current inventions in the hypercube. How does that work? Plus, the only thing this thing's good for is leaving a marker trail behind you. Atomic vomit! A super invention object! Awesome! A super invention piece! Atomic vomit! A super invention object! THOSE WEREN'T THERE BEFORE! Maybe Goddard can help you get that pickup, Jimmy. You have found a Goddard upgrade. When you pick it up, Goddard will have extra commands. They will be available from your hypercube. Keep an eye out for more upgrade packs. Why don't you try them out now? Goddard is used less than the inventions or the gizmos. A genius never takes the stick. I get it's to repair the rocket, but wouldn't it make more sense to go to the rocket to repair it? So Jimmy, guess what? My folks said I could get a new pet as long as it doesn't set off my allergies. That's great, Carl. Uh-huh. So you want to come to the pet store and hold the animals up while I sniff them? In the special, Carl found a pet, a frozen fish, but his dad was allergic to the ice the fish was in. That's like a tree being allergic to chlorophyll. Uh, sorry, Carl. I have a date with Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3? Yep. It's a comet that is entering Earth's orbit in... Puke and Pluto! Gotta run! Twonkus 3 is entering Earth's orbit in an hour! So, what I miss? Oh, Jimmy's dating a comet and I have to go sniff animals. And they say I'm the weird one. Well, guys, got a blast! Need to stop at this discarded space station and pick up some neutrolium fuel canisters to super boost me to Twonkus. 
Why is this space station abandoned? Was it the Xenomorphs, I wonder? Better land away from those defense systems that are firing at the meteor storm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like there is zero gravity here. One of those meteors must have knocked out the station's gravity system. A tether will stop me from flying off until I can think of something. I have to use this tether to keep me on the space station. Only get me so far. Maybe I can use. I believe in a world where people can breathe in space like in Treasure Planet. But making an electromagnetic shoes out of a magnet, which is just here on the space station, that's just stupid. Meg. Cool. Now I don't need the tether. I better watch my step or I'll end up in orbit. Oh no! Some of the meteors are getting through the automatic defenses. Goddard, fly around and pick me up at the other end of the station. Ah, ah. Only time Goddard gets a speech thing. Oh no, these panels aren't supporting my weight. I have to run. Wow, I just made it. Yeah, just... Barely. That was close! Just got out in time! And now, on to Twonkus! Jimmy, yet again, makes things sound worse than it is. It's not like the TARDIS is about to detonate a flux capacitor. That there it is, boy! Twonkus 3! The terrain looks a bit unstable, but I'll take us in for a nice, soft landing. Well, not a smooth landing, but a landing just the same. But didn't you say... I'll take us in for a nice, soft landing. Now, how are we going to find our way back after we collect our samples? Oh, I get it! When we're done exploring, we'll let the music guide us back to the ship. Good idea, boy. Another liberty well taken. In the show, Twonkus 3 was a barren wasteland. So, one sin removed. Twonkus 3! We're finally here, Goddard! Adventure beckons! There must be some minerals around here somewhere. We still need... Yikes! Blockus is really unstable! I'd better be careful! Just what I was looking for! I think God can help me retrieve it from the ground. Dogs like to dig, especially robot ones. Oh, look! Not gold kryptonite. This will upgrade Goddard's digging abilities. Okay, boy, excavate here. Good job, boy. Still have two mineral sites to find. Hey, looks like an upgrade pack for Goddard. Let's give it a try. If I throw this, Goddard will bring it back for me. Or, it's just a bone-shaped piece of ice you found. Goddard should be able to help out here. A mineral! This looks like a job for Goddard! Oh look! Not red kryptonite! Okay, 
Goddard. Excavate this. Bullshit. Good job, boy. Whoa. What is that? What do you think? Oh, for the g green kryptonite! Whoa, cool! Useless. Use number one. Yes, a blue mineral. Goddard can help me now. Now the blue kryptonite. This Tronky, which I'll call Goliath, isn't a boss. Was close. I have to get to my ship. If that thing destroys it, I'll be stranded here forever. It won't start. Come on. Uh oh, it still won't start. Come on. It won't start. Cliche. Let's get out of here. Let's make like atoms and split. Hold the animals up while I sniff them. 